What's up everybody, Nolan of Black Diamond Services. I'm out at a repeat client's house. I just did this microfiber suede double reclining love seat here. As you see, I got my fan on drying it out a bit. I was here in February and did this. And the reason why I came back is the client's uh, cat unfortunately had peed in this area here and the odor was really strong. Um, sorry about that. Went out of focus for some reason. The odor was really strong, so they wanted me to come back and do another cleaning of it. Now, this section here, kind of the lower backrest and the seat and the armrest section right about right here, she said, was the main concern. So what I'm getting at is, even though that was all she really needed done, because it's only been basically six months roughly since I was here I did the entire thing and that's just what you want to do on upholstery you don't really want to clean one spot because the potential that it may look uneven and if a client is adamant about that you got to explain that and let them know um, that way when it dries up because if you're a cleaner and you've done this type of material you know that it uh, lightens up quite a bit as probably why you could see it looks a little brighter right here than it does over on top there because my fan is drying that section out so with that being said you want to let them know that it's generally best to do the whole thing especially if it's been a, a while because you're gonna probably see a difference where you cleaned and where you haven't so but on top of that even if the client says they're only worried about that section I still want to do the whole thing because you know if you're only out for this one item I'm sure you have a minimum charge you gotta meet that minimum charge um, otherwise for travel time and all that it may not be worth it just to do you know one little spot and say oh you know I'll only charge you thirty dollars or whatever you feel is um, something you would do if you were already there so with that being said I did the entire thing all the way around um, the reclining part of it and and all that no cushions detached as you could probably tell just because you want to build value if you do the whole thing even though she doesn't really need it it's just better business in my opinion to do the entire thing you know if you're already here this is all the work they have for you you might as well do the entire thing so that way you know for sure that it's even across the entire um, sofa love seat whatever you're, it is you're working on that way you make sure they get their value out of it. And because it had cat urine issues, I pre-treated it, scrubbed it, rinsed it out and everything, and then post-treated it afterwards. Because of how small this is and the little time that it took, you know, I have a citrus deodorizer um, that she wanted to have put on it. And so I actually went through that step too. And then as you can see, a little section I hadn't combed out yet. I used my horsehair brush to comb it out after, after that, especially microfiber. It's usually a good idea to comb it so it's all looking even. So I just wanted to go over that. You know, another thing of building value for your customers and the reason why they're going to want you back is for things just like that. Don't make them a customer, make them a client. Repeat business is better than one time. So if you can get them to fall in love with you because you show them value in what you do and that you take pride in your work, a long-time relationship with clients that can trust you is much more valuable than just coming in, doing one little spot, collecting your minimum charge and taking off. You know, tell them at least, hey, I could do this whole thing and it would still be my minimum charge. That would be the best situation for you. Would you like me to do that? And if they're totally against it, then at that point, make sure you have them understanding there's a potential variation in color from this side where the issue was to this side where the only issue was dirt at most.
But with that being said, just wanted to go over that. Quick little video on building value and showing your clients the need to go the extra mile. No one with Black Diamond. Have yourself a great day. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please hit the like button if you do. Like the video, subscribe. I'm always trying to do more and trying to figure out different things that I can share with people to build that value. So I appreciate your time. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.